morning, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. It's Thursday, I'm about to leave Bristol and head up to Scotland to meet David, who is the organizer of the stalking show, and I'm gonna be doing a stalk with him tomorrow morning. So I've just got to Kiel, and uh, it started snowing pretty hard, which is good. I'm okay with snow. I'm kind of, I wanna be in Scotland for the snow. We did specifically plan it so that there was a reasonable chance of snow, uh, hopefully to make some great footage. So hopefully a little bit will be fine, but uh, not too much, it stops me. So I've made it to Scotland. Uh, I'm absolutely shattered. We're gonna get up early in the morning. Hopefully the weather's going to be okay. We might have to do an evening stalk instead of the morning because of the winds, but we'll see what happens in the night. So we've been out for a brilliant lunch in a fantastic little uh, pub inn, uh, which is haunted. So if, uh, if you're in the area, definitely check it out. I'll put the links in the description below, but I'm out with David now back in the car. We're heading sort of 10 minutes away, roughly, um, hopefully on a successful stalk. Uh, so Alex and I are just uh, heading out. We've headed out this afternoon uh, to try and stalk uh, some red deer. Uh, we've come to a particular property just here uh, called St Catherine's. Uh, we've headed up the track. We're very high up already. Uh, however, we've gone up to the track at the top here and due to the very strong east wind, it's a very cold wind, um, we've had a look out there and it is really bleak. So we've decided, uh, we've called a shot and we've decided to come back and head down to a little bit lower ground, uh, just a little bit of land down the road here that we're going to head down to now. It's a lot more sheltered uh, and the east wind is coming from the wood, so towards us. Uh, so it should be a lot more shelter at the side of the wood. So we'll go and check out there. But where we are at the minute, uh, I just don't have that gut feeling due to this very cold, uh, harsh wind that we've got at the minute. Uh, you'll see on some of the tops just lo locally that there is quite a bit of snow um, on some of the high tops. And where we've just been, there was quite a lot. It was really, really was like the tundra arctic sort of condition so uh, the red deer will stand a lot of weather they don't mind really the wet they don't mind uh, the cold but what they don't like is a cold east wind and for some reason i think we're probably all the same they do avoid that so as i said we're heading to somewhere slightly different we're literally down almost at uh, sea level now as you can already feel there's very little wind or a lot less wind uh, it's coming from the east and we're just going to cut up through this wood over here and just sit at the side of the forest here for the last 20 minutes half an hour and hopefully something will creep out the wood i'm using actually quite a rare rifle in the uk it's a proof research rifle 6.5 i don't get too hung up on calibers and what have you because i'm a big believer if you do the job properly and you point it in the right direction uh, they'll all do the same pretty much the same job really happy with it super lightweight and it's got a z8 swarovski rifle uh, scope on it it'll go into the vaughn bag on my back way out of the way and it leaves my hands free for the binoculars and the thermal right mate let's get going We're basically going to get up here two or three hundred metres and we'll cut up through the trees and then get in a nice position where we can see what's going on at the side of this big thick conifer woodland and hopefully something will sneak out if they're not already there. See the 
sounded like a good strike. Okay, safety on, just watch. We'll get down there, take a look. Looked good to me. Oh, it nearly killed me coming up. Now we're going back down. And David, he's like a mountain goat. He's just up and down these hills so fast. I thought I saw something. So what we do now is we open up the front, get the knife in, and what we do is uh, bleed as much of the blood as we can out of the beast. If I didn't do this, Jose would go crazy at me. <laughs> right, so we bleed the animal. And I will open. So I'll open up the throat as I do. This is the way I do it. Yeah, well, if you don't mind, yeah. I'll, I'll do a proper Gralican video next time. Yeah. And I'm going to take the heart out to show you that you shot the absolute perfect shot because you've shot the heart. You're not just... No, that's it. I've not done that. That's, that's, that's bullet damage. I as soon as I put my hand in, I'm I could see. So happy. Soon, soon as, as soon as I put it in, You've shot the most perfect shot you could have shot. All this is just rubbish that we leave on the hillside. We've got eagles, lots of birds of prey here, ravens, many, many ravens, and of course the old classic fox, Mr. Fox. Okay, absolutely splendid stuff, uh, Alex. We've uh, stalked up this hillside. We sat in the trees only five minutes, if that, and spotted a beast with the thermal. We've stalked down towards it. It was a little bit difficult to see what it was, but we've worked out on this particular area, it was actually a very poor quality stag or male red deer. Um, we've stalked into it, um, worked out just a little, a little avenue into it. We found a super little spot to shoot from for Alex. Alex took over with the rifle, literally like a duck to water. Shot was taken and I have to say, we've just performed the Gralic. I've opened him up, cleaned him out and Absolutely perfect heart lung shot right through the top of the heart couldn't have wished for better the beast ran probably 25 meters over he went the dogs found it everything's been textbook um, couldn't have wished for more hope Alex you've had a great day with me I've thoroughly enjoyed having you here the, uh, the snow and the rain is coming back so let's go and get some dinner well I've had an absolutely amazing time with David and Deanne here um, again thanks so much for uh, putting up with me and taking me out on the stalk I hope you're enjoying the channel, I really do. If you are, then hit that subscribe button, give this video one of those. So I'm actually on my way to go see Pete now, so that's gonna be another video, hopefully another stalk, but I'm heading towards Aberdeen, so watch out for part two. Again, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.